Oh, for the love of penis! What the? Where am I? This is straight camp, Peter. I'm sorry, but I'm doing this for Lois. By the time you get out of here, you're gonna be back to your old self again. Welcome to straight camp, everyone. You're all here because you've made a choice to renounce your evil, sinful ways and redeem yourselves in the eyes of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who hates many people, but none more than homosexuals. And through our carefully structured program, you will succeed. All right, men, this is Harry the Homosexual. Say hi to everyone, Harry. Hi, fellas. I sure do love being gay. Harry's choice of lifestyle is wrong, so we're going to beat him up for it. Now, take these baseball bats and get to it. <gasps> All right, good so far. No, 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 don't use the bats like that. No, no, don't use them like that either. All right, look, just put them down and use your fists. No, 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 not like that. All right, this next exercise will train you to talk like a straight man. Peter, we'll start with you. Repeat every word I say exactly as I say it. Tonight, me and my friends Paulie and Maddie are going out to drink a ton of beers. Tonight, my friends and I are going out, but we're not drinking because those are empty calories. Then we'll play full contact football in the park with no pads or helmets. Then we're gathering at Alan and Omar's for bad movie night. Then it's straight to the bars to find loose women to have sex with. Then it's straight to the gym for three hours of crunches and extended eye contact with strangers. Peter! Oh, don't give me that look, Tony. That's exactly what you said. I said it right back to you. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry to bother you people, but I didn't know where else to go. I haven't seen Peter in two days, and I just thought he might be here. What? Oh my god, Peter's missing? H hang on, hang on, hang on. Before anyone gets too worked up, I know where Peter is. Where? I put him in a straight camp. You what? Oh, you bastard! Ryan, wh why did you do that? Well, it's just that you seem so unhappy, and I, I just wanted to help you get your husband back. Who knows, by now Peter could be completely heterosexual again. Throw out your hands, take out your tush, hands on your hips, give him a push, you'll be surprised you're doing the French mistake. Voila! Stop! Lois, what are you doing here? I'm here to get you out of this place, Peter. I'm taking you back to Scott. Really? Y you're not still upset about my leaving? Peter, there's nothing I'd want more than to have you back, but your place is in Scott now. I mean, a, a person's sexual identity is no more a choice than the color of his skin. This is who you are. I can't change you. And it would be wrong for me to try. Oh, Lois, you've made me happier than a pig among guinea pigs. All right, I think we're all in agreement. I'm in charge here. Hi, Peter. Hi, Scott. Mm. Guess what? I have a welcome home surprise for you. <gasps> Dish, dish, dish. Remember how you told me your ultimate fantasy was to have an 11-way? Oh, my God, yes, I do, and you so did not even. Oh, but I did. You guys. <laughs> oh, here are my notes about the gay gene. Huh, it wears off after two and a half weeks. Oh, great, now I can't find Mrs. Griffin's number. Okay, everybody ready? Oh, God, I feel like a kid in a candy store who's having sex with a bunch of gay guys. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's going on here? Holy crap! Ah! These are mine! So, we're just, like, never gonna talk about this again? That's right, sweetie. Well, I'm just happy to have your father home again. Yeah, and thank God everything's back to normal. Take back your fucking horse!